few more heavy downpours possible on this Tuesday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms likely. Temperatures going to be topping out in the upper 80s and lower 90s as we get to the afternoon. Futurecast dots the area with more scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures generally going to be in the upper 80s and lower 90s across our area. Just depends on where you are as to uh, whether or not you'll be in the upper 80s or lower 90s as we go through the day today. Heat index value is going to be climbing into the upper 90s and lower 100s. Futurecast might be under or overdoing these numbers just a touch. We'll enter a more summertime pattern after today, although we do get another cold front pushing through on Friday. Looks like rain chances will generally be around 30% each and every afternoon, and that's about where we should be for this time of year. Hurricane Gert, now in the Atlantic, you can see it's starting to take that right turn away from the U.S. East Coast, so some good news there. Gert may strengthen a little bit more, but likely to stay a weak hurricane as it uh, goes out into the open waters of the Atlantic and again you can see they're going to stay away from land masses so some good news there with GERD. As for our neck of the woods here's how the next seven days are going to work out. Again you see those rain chances starting to dip down a little bit down to 30 percent also on Monday we'll keep that rain chance at 30 percent highs generally in the low 90s but those heat index values will be much higher than that and so that will start to be a factor in our weather today and it'll likely stay a factor in our weather through the next seven days. Hopefully the weather will be nice for our partial eclipse as we get into the day on Monday. You can get the latest on your forecast later on tonight on WCBI News at 5 with Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson.